Okay, so as you can see, I've come into SharePoint 2013. I've gone to the site contents on the site collection where I've deployed my case management app. And you can see I have a bunch of apps listed here and case management is one of those. So to navigate to the app, we'll simply click on the case management app and it'll take us to our custom UI here. I also wanted to mention that this UI can be hosted in the context of the SharePoint Chrome uh, using a, an app part and that looks like this. So you can see you still get the normal SharePoint functionality as well, if, you, if, if that's desired. Okay, so on our screen, we have a few areas of interest. Um, we have an action menu here that's available and customized to each screen in the app as we go through, but it allows us to jump quickly to functionality within the system. The tiles themselves, you'll see a cases tile, which lists cases assigned to the to the user, current user, um, the ability to drill down and to, to view more cases, more of, of the cases assigned to the user, um, as well as the ability to click directly on a case itself and view the details of that. We have an aggregated tasking area, which shows all tasks assigned to the current user throughout the app. So this will be task assigned um, across all cases showing up here, as well as a, a similar notification areas. So tasks are items that you're required to take actions on. Notifications are simply just that notifications to the users. And this will be aggregated across uh, all the cases. Additionally, we have a report section here, as well as advanced search capability. And these are the areas that we'll be showcasing today. And then the last thing I wanted to highlight on this dashboard page is this search box in the upper right hand corner. And you'll see this across the app. It just makes sense to introduce this now. But we, what we want to do is allow the, abil the ability for the users to search at any time um, that, they, that they need to. Um, so this is utilizing the fast search cap capability with the REST API. And as you can see, as I start typing, I'll get some information about search results and I can look at it further and click on those. Let's look a little bit more deeply into the functionality around the case itself. So what I'll do here is from the cases tile, I'll click on the first case here. And as you can see, I get more specific information about the case that we're looking at here, in this case, case number two. So it lists how many documents I've serialized so far, and serialization simply means completion of an approval workflow for a form. You can see I have three completed, one is pending, I have zero rejected on this case. I have important dates listed on the case, so when the case was opened, annual review, etc., as well as tasking specific to this case. So as we saw, one level above tasking across all cases specific to the user. This is tasking represented specifically for this case, as well as notifications. In addition, you'll see a bit more information here about case facts, an annual assessment of the case, and the appropriate case team. So why don't we look at case facts? And these facts are entered through a form-based approval process, which we'll go through shortly. But if we look at the case facts, you're presented with a timeline view initially. So you can see what's happened when on the case. If you hover over, you can see the, the items themselves. And if you click on one of those, you'll get details about the fact of the case that happened on this date. A Bing Maps plugin is provided, as well as some supporting information. In addition to this timeline view, we also have an overall map view of all the case facts that have occurred throughout time represented on a Bing map. Okay, we'll jump quickly back to the dashboard screen. So we'll explore the Your Cases functionality a little bit more. So this is an aggregation of the cases that are assigned to the user you'll see a, a more full listing of the cases themselves. You can always click on the case to view the screen that we just saw, which has more, more significant details about the case. 
as well as view some information about pending cases or anything that's been rejected by the user um, through the workflow process. You can also sort by case status, office, team, or case number. Next, we'll show the entry of data through our HTML forms. And to illustrate this, we'll use a simple case opening form. So we'll click on our action menu, click open a case, and it'll bring us a simple HTML form that's, that's uh, easy for the user to understand and also provide some additional value, which we'll show in a second. So we'll type a case title. And as you can see, as we're typing, related content pop pops up on the right side. So this is what I was referring to when I said contextual based search information. So as you're entering this case, you can see what else possibly has gone on in the system related to a title of this of, of this case. Fill out some other fields. We'll choose our first approval approver in the workflow. Enter some simple test data. And submit our case. And you can see our case has been submitted, our case provisioning has been completed, and soon we should see a task showing up for our approver to approve the case. At this point, our case has been submitted. We filled out the form, pushed it to our approval workflow, and our next, our approver user should have a task to approve the case. In the meantime, if I were to click on my cases, you'll see that the, pen, the case that I've just submitted now shows up under pending cases. So it won't show up into your cases until it's all the way approved, but you'll see pending here and you can tra track it in that manner. I'll hop over to my approver users view of the system. And you can see that now this user's presented with an additional approval task. And when I click on that, I'll see the case opening that was just submitted um, with, with all the detail information described out. So this is a custom view of a SharePoint task, basically, um, presented in a way that is more natural for our users. So next, we'll have the user just select uh, the next approver if needed. In this case, it'll, it'll simply finish up the approval loop. But then we'll click Approve. You can see the task is removed from that user, and we should see the open case now showing up for the original submitting user. Okay, so I've logged back in as the original user, and you can see my new case shows up in the listing, and it's removed from the pending cases list. And now I can click into it and view the information about the case. And obviously there's not a lot yet, but you can see my one serialized document has been completed and it's an open case. I'll show the entry of a form and interaction with the HTML based form one more time through the entry of a case report on the case that we've just created um, and the subsequent approval task.
And once approved, I should be able to click into the case and I'll see one more document for the case, in this case, the case report, and which, which also gets extracted out into the case facts area. So I should see a case fact here showing up once it's completely finished. Now we're back on the dashboard screen. And just to summarize what we've looked at to date, we've looked at the case area, clicking on details of a case, uh, looking at aggregation of cases for a, a particular user, uh, as well as the entry of data to our lightweight HTML forms and submission to our customizable workflow process. In support of all that, we've exercised our aggregated task area. And just, just to highlight, uh, I know we didn't get into the details of it, but the, ta the aggregated tasking is actually working on the FAST-based search API, uh, which provides the ability for us to quickly get at um, SharePoint list items that have been assigned to a specific user and present those in a more uh, aggregated view. So that's what we're using there. Next, I want to look at search and reports uh, and then conclude the demo. Okay, let's look at search first. So you'll see a tile that's dedicated directly or, or exclusively to search. If we click on this, you'll see a screen that's um, that's been built to, to mimic the, the Bing or Google functionality that, that you would get with modern um, search engines. So if we start typing here, you'll see we get search results um, with information about what matched as well as the file itself, where where it's located, etc. Uh, all information that you'd expect with a normal um, search engine. But on top of this, because we're using the REST-based search API, we also have the ability to integrate more advanced capabilities, including search refiners uh, and some other sort of advanced scenarios, which we have not built out yet, but plan to. So stay tuned for that. And to conclude the demo, I want to talk a little bit about the integrated BI uh, and reporting capabilities that we've surfaced uh, through this app. So you can see there's a tile dedicated to reports. And if we click on this, there's a custom UI on top of um, a bunch of different reports that we've uh, made available to our application. And the way we've done this is simply to create a repository, a document repository in SharePoint that holds um, our Excel files, our BI semantic model connections, our Power View reports, um, whatever we whatever we want to, to expose here. This could also be SQL Server reporting services reports directly. Um, the only caveat here is that this is um, reporting services deployed in SharePoint integrated mode. So in order to, to utilize the functionality of, of deploying a report directly to a document library, you have to have it deployed in that manner. So you can see we have just an Excel file that we want to use as a report, but also we have a um, Power, Power View report that we'll see. Now on our custom screen, you can see that we'll have our Power View report available as well as our Excel services um, report. So this really does add some flexibility to the reporting capabilities. So if our users prefer, prefer to consume their data in Excel, they can use Excel services, which they get with the enterprise version of SharePoint. But if they want more advanced capabilities, we're also offering Power View, which comes as a SQL Server product, but is always delivered through SharePoint. And when you develop these Power View reports, you get a very rich reporting capability here that um, takes it one step above traditional reporting services reports. So as you can see, I'm editing data, I'm editing the view of the Power View report, I can switch around to different reports. And you get all of the functionality that you would get in Power View. Again, we'll go back to the, just the, the standard Excel services report, which you can export to Excel if you wanted to do that. Um, and they're all 
just available as for the fact that they're available through this reports document library. So on that front, I just wanted to show um, how easy it is to publish a report. Um, and we don't have a, an ability to do that through this screen, but through SharePoint, if we come in and want to add a new Excel report, it's as simple as uploading a new Excel file to the document library. And we'll title it something meaningful, meaningful. And then it's showing up here. And we'll have to reload our page. But once we do that, you'll see our new report, Excel report, is available for us to view through the application. So this is a really powerful model in which we could allow our users to publish reports to our application directly um, from their desktops if needed, or control that with a workflow-based process. Additionally, because of the fact that we're using um, PowerView, we can enable an ad hoc scenario where users are given the ability to create ad hoc Power View reports and save those back. And in this case, we've configured a data source that looks at SQL Server analysis services to provide the data for an ad hoc report here. So with that, we'll conclude our overview demo of the SharePoint 2013 case management app solution. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the demo and look for updates uh, as we move forward and as we release new and exciting solutions on the SharePoint 2013 platform.